Hello everyone and welcome back to another night of the 13 nights of Halloween. I have no idea what night it is because I am not paying that close attention to what night it is, but today's special guest is Common. Yeah. It's been a very long time since we've actually, funny enough, the, the last video that you were in a video previously, you were in the Frosty the Snowman modcast uh, old get back together special before then i think it's been maybe literally years since we last did any form of video together <laughs> i think i do think so and the frosty the snowman one i man i remember that one because i like it was like the first time anyone's come to me to ask for like an audio thing for me to record and send in i really put in my efforts but like it still ended up rather scuffed Hey, it was so much. it was perfect for what it was. <laughs> it was the, the perfect <laughs> side of the podcast. So if you don't know, Common was an old, uh, old, old Dokkan mod back when we were still doing modcast days. He's he's was very much prominent in a lot of the modcast episodes. There's a stream out there of me yelling at him while I was playing X Men uh, Wolverine's Revenge on the G Game Boy Advance. That's how long the history between me and Common goes, and uh, most. And then he was a Dokkan random mod, and then he was a Go one, which we'll explain in a video that came later on. And now he's just common. Indeed. <laughs> and now we're going to be here with Dredo, which this one has a very special uh, history behind it, common. I actually did this one for the first time I ever did 13 Nights of Halloween, but I only played 14 minutes of it because I was too much of a coward and did not want to continue the game. <laughs> okay, well... You know, I totally can tell, I, I definitely get that sentiment. I'm probably like a similar way, so maybe between the two of us, we'll balance it out. Exactly. That's also, if you've ever been wondering why I use more people now, it's to specifically to avoid this situation. Coward. Okay. So let's go. I'm actually going to be curious to see more of this game as it goes in. It's much easier for me to play a horror game when I know there's someone else here, at least. So I'm for not, sure. uh... Because if it, if it was up to me, the answer is typically I would uh, weenie it out, and that's usually not the best for videos. Yeah, for me too, and sometimes I go like all in, so I even turn off my lights, and so that just does not help my, my situation even more. Yeah, specifically. I set up the mood and then realize, why did I do this to myself? Mm -hmm. So this is Dread Out. I don't know what this game's about, other than I'm pretty sure it's from Indonesia. Oh, an Indonesian horror game. Now that, that would be very interesting. Thing. Yes. Uh, the only reason I know it's Indonesian is because there was an Indonesian language option, and I said you would not support the language unless you come specifically from Indonesia. What is going on here? <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, hold on a minute. <laughs> Why is the camera spinning? That is not something that should be happening. Settings. No, yeah, okay. Key bindings. Key bindings, maybe? Okay. Ready. What is the ready camera button? Third access. You can totally tell this was maybe not made by, <laughs> by <laughs> someone based off of all the things that we're looking at here as I try to figure out what the hell do you want? What is. Okay. Maybe if I just apply, we'll be fine. And then, uh, no. Oh, I see the Indonesia. Yeah, there's the Indonesian option. One moment. Okay, it's not the controller. Because I just turned off, I just took off the controller and it's still doing this. What is going on? Why are you like this? <laughs> what? Stop. Wait. Oh, you. Well, I can control the camera now, but now it's going all types of directions. <laughs> and I can't move forward because I'm going like this. All right, one moment. We're going to have to pause and figure out what the hell's going on. This didn't happen all those years ago. One moment. Oh, okay, we're back. The issue was there was a controller, and now the controller is gone, so now we're back in it. Now, unfortunately, I don't remember any of the controls on this, but it's okay. I have a run button. All right, let's go back into it, huh? Now that I'm no right. longer... Okay, let's see. I remember this bit. If I remember right, I got to at least outside this door. E. It's a good thing that uh, lock screen doesn't exist. That. <laughs> 
One of the worst. You did have stuff ah! on, right? Oh, okay, wow. All, immediately off the bat, okay. I should check for subtitles. I'm pretty sure I remember putting them on. <laughs> I saw you putting it on, but unless it's just not a thing for the phone audio. Maybe. It might just be it might just be a thing only for like the you character. Found like, Iris's phone. Iris phone. Perfect. Not Iris's phone, just Iris phone. As yeah. if it's implying like <laughs> Instead of an iPhone, like normal, it's just an iris phone. Yeah, it's the help phone. It's perfect. Alright, yeah, the subtitles are 100% on, I just wanted to point it out. <laughs> okay. Oh, shit. I can take some sweet pictures. Is there anything here? Dude, it's... I'm not even sure my own phone is, like, takes pictures this good. Like, it's like a one-to-one -one with, like, what she's seeing with her eyes. It is. Also, she's holding it from the side, mm -hmm. which I've never taken pictures like that normally. I usually do it the up. Hello, is there anything here? No. Oh, shit. Oh. Well, I took a picture. Okay, okay, so I thought when she was holding that way, I, I, I thought she would, like, be pressing, like, the side button, you know, like, to emulate kind of, like, a real camera. So uh -huh. it really took me aback that she actually uses the touch screen while holding it on the side. Yeah, it's a it's a special. Maybe it's a thing in Indonesia. I'm going to, against my better judgment, go forward. Well, at least it's pretty straightforward game, considering that you blocked the left path over there. And is that? She's slowly moonwalking <laughs> forward. <laughs> it's powerful stuff. What? Assert your dominance by walking straight into the wall. Oh god, I remember why I stopped fucking playing this. Uh... Is that also your flashlight? Like the phone? I think so. Oh yeah, yeah, I do notice it because the light torch coming from the phone. Rainbow light as well. Mm -hmm. A lot of reflection for, you know, no sun around? That's just how it is in Indonesia. <laughs> a lot of people don't know that. That's just the way it is. They have a lot of swings and they got a lot of weird camera stuff when it comes to phones. They have the iris phone. Oh, God. <laughs> oh. You know, I think if that's that was That was, was a, a genuine <laughs> scream. <laughs> Honestly, if that's the extent of what we're doing with, this might not be too bad. <laughs> Oh, come on. <laughs> okay, alright, never mind. I spoke too soon. What in the world is going on? Though? I'm, I'm gonna run away. That's what's gonna go happen right here. I don't want to. Why wanna... is she here? Is Why? She here? Is... Oh. I guess it's just. I guess we slowly find to... out the plot, but I don't know exactly why she's in this enclosed area that I can't seem to even grasp what it is is this a house of someone's is there neighbor? there's the ghost lady but what is what the fuck do i do i'm trapped oh wait oh you take pictures of her okay she's, she's not very photo hygienic so oh so that's probably how we avoid the the jump scares is that i have to feel to see if it's nearby and that's why i was getting jump scared because she was there uh, oh. Okay, well that makes it make more sense. So it's like Slender Man, but with like extra chances. Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna we can't go that way, so I assume this is actually the right way to go. Oh god. Okay. I don't see anything. Wasn't there a dead end around this part already? Yeah, I don't know where to go, to be honest. I'm kind of just trying to live my life here. Trying not to get scared as well. Being on the constant lookout for potential spook -em ups makes it much harder for me to go anywhere. Mm-hmm. Okay. Nothing here. I do like the ambiance. It's got very good ambiance. There's a lot of, like, uh... 
a jank to it, but it's also helping with the atmosphere a whole bunch. I feel like, like that a... that's true of most horror stuff in general, actually, is that it's typically yeah. not the big budget fares, except for when it comes to stuff like The Thing or something. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was just saying, I was thinking that too, it reminds me of like the old... Uh old budget horror movies that have jank in them but they're also like creatively horror horrifying because they have to find their way around that budget uh-huh that's right that's actually reminds me of i think an interview most recently or people were talking about it. i don't know why they were talking about it but the movie the black cat has a similar thing where in that movie the idea is is that i think it's from the 1930s mm-hmm. but you're basically being haunted by a uh what, what the hell Okay, no, it's, it was already there. Um, there's a panther going around, and I don't think they ever show the panther, but they do a lot of allusions to it to let you know that it's there, and it's a lot of like subtle work that works very effective, and it's a lot of atmospheric work, and that ends up holding up even to modern days. So it ends up having a creepy vibe to it, even if you never actually see the panther, and all you ever hear is like its noises and its attacks and stuff like that. Like, subtle things like the it attacking someone from behind a door, and you see the blood go down the door, but you never actually see the attack itself. So, cool stuff. Yeah, you know? no, that's really cool. I really like stuff like that. I don't really have examples off the top of my head, like what you said, but I definitely do like that sort of thing. Yeah, I took a picture of this because I wanted to see if it would Are do anything. Are those posters? Are those missing posters, or...? I don't know. It's in, all in, in, in Indonesian, so <laughs> your guess is about as good as mine. This could be a concert for all I know. Okay, I'm going to try going forward. Maybe there was just something I missed up here. Oh, God. Wait. Okay. We're fine. can't go in through there. I gotta imagine it's gotta be there. That's what I'm imagining too, but traveled the long distance. What does that mean, achievement? Does that just mean, <laughs> speak to me, game? <laughs> what do I do? I think it just literally accounted for how long you've been walking around an area enough. That would make sense. Common, do me a favor and look up where we go All next. Right. Right. I'm, I'm throwing in the towel in front of this. I don't want to randomly get hit by a fucking ghost. And I'm out here trying my best to not get spooked by anything. I'm like reading the walkthrough, but this doesn't sound anything like the the thing that we just played in this. Uh, just... if it helps, this is chapter zero. Okay. Maybe that's why. Yeah, there's different chapters to it. There is a wall with a hidden passage if you take a photo of it. What the fuck? Apparently, there, it, there would be like a blue vignette. So you have to look for something that has like a blue vignette. Is it this? No, right. Dang, this phone is strong. Not a single battery has, like, gone down. No, thank God, because this is the only thing keeping me alive. But how strong the light is, dude? This phone is beyond even our modern technology. Well, like, a strong light like this, but no battery drainage? Once again, this is the power of Indonesia on display. So Where is the blue big yeah? I'm trying to like, look around, see if like the blue big yeah. I'm I can't. Really can imagine it's like the rainbow, right? I feel like that might be a clue. What if that? Is, what would legitimately that's like a clue? Because I'm noticing it's like shifting, like angles and stuff, kind of like a wave. Wait, wait, it might be that wall right there. Wait, this one right here? Yeah, I'm thinking somewhere like around there. Because why is there a rainbow in some like? In some parts, and there's not a rainbow. Do so you see how it's like? Look, look, look. It's like pointing to the to your right, or like on the on the stall. Huh. 
It is pointing this way, so maybe... Wait. There it is. You might have had something there, Common. Well, unfortunately, we do have to now continue the game. Oh. Okay, okay. Okay. Also, also along with the walkthroughs, apparently it's a mandatory thing that you read the how to play before, so I guess they explained that in there, is my assumption. Maybe I read it in a previous file, and that's what it's considered. No, I think it might be a separate thing. It might be one of those like old type games that has like a separate manual. Oh, there she is. Oh so take a picture God. of her, I guess. That's not the ghost, though. That's not the ghost. No, that's my Ford walking sister, I think. Okay, okay, okay. We're gonna keep an eye okay, out. So, so I think I'm starting to understand how this game works. You follow the rainbow, and that rainbow tells you where to go. That would make sense to me. But will the rainbow also tell me when there's a ghost nearby? Or do I, I have to, like, listen so. to... How did you figure out the other ghost nearby? Is there a vibration going on? Oh, wait. You wouldn't feel that three miles. Huh? I just kind of guessed. Is that what a doll? What the heck is that? Oh my it's God. just hanging in there. They're going to love this on Instagram. Oh my god, there's something going to fucking pop out at me, isn't there? Why did I Why close, would you the close the door? Why would you close the door behind you? There's Why would you do that? Listen, it seemed like a good idea at the time. I don't know if I can actually take this down. What does the rainbow say? Does the rainbow point to anything in here? No. It's wait, wait, wait. If there's no rainbow in here, doesn't that mean you've reached the area then? <gasps> my... I can't is that the ghost, or is that your sister that you're talking about? It's my sister. I think it's my forward-walking sister. Are you cool? You're gonna have to tell me if you're cool. I need you to stop dancing up there. And talk to me like a normal human being. Well, she looks fine. Maybe you just go up and talk to her. Maybe you take a picture of her? I don't know. Oh, <laughs> we are so fucking done. As family. <laughs> I don't- I don't want to follow you. I'm being real with you right now. You and your slow <laughs> forward walk! <laughs> <laughs> what hit me? What? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> what tripped me? What? Were you- were you taken aback? Were you aghast? I guess I got fucking blasted by the by our forward walk one moment. Okay, nothing. Oh, I see something down there. I see, and that might be a ghost or something. I see a reflection there. Mine is just like outside the window. It could be either one, to be honest. Did she right, walk up the stairs? Rainbow's pointing us this way. So we're gonna look at this dilapidated truck. Can I open this? I don't know. Hello? Oh, okay, so I assume it's that wooden door. Not that one. The door is locked. Yeah, the one behind you. That's what I'm thinking. No, I think we have to go through up the stairs. As uh -huh. much as I really do not want to go up these goddamn stairs. And follow my creepy ass sister. I am going to. The answer was just staring us in the face. Nice try. You ain't gonna get me. Light switch? I don't think any electricity is around here. Okay. You know, at this point, Whoa. I don't, I don't know. Is that a cat? Lucifer? Is it my cat, Lucifer? Take a picture of it. I swear to God, if this thing fucking jump scares me, this game ends. It's a black cat. Hello. Hey, buddy. I guess he's just slow walking. Joe Rocks. Live concert. You can feature Joe and the Rocks. <laughs> Pantura. Grindcore Dut. 
Yeah, these look like they're all having a good time here. Can I help you, <laughs> cat friend? Wait a minute. Is it gonna is it gonna like block you in? Is there a collision thing where now you just blocked in here and it's unintentional? Sweet TV situation you got going in this apartment. <laughs> okay, you just closed it on it. <laughs> Alright. Come in, cat. Is it following me now? Oh. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you for having the foresight to make you face through it. Because it got. Imagine if you got, like, blocked in it. That'd be very unfortunate. Alright, later, creepy cat. Maybe it's one another one of these doors. Oh, I'm so afraid to do anything. Yeah, okay. We follow the, the rainbow. Rainbow wants us to go forward. There was a spooky little cat there. He wanted to hang out with us for a bit. Ghost. Let me check in here. Ghost. Ghost toilet. Oh, God. The scariest toilet. Alright. Go for it. The music has stopped. I don't appreciate that. Okay. I hear something. Oh, yeah, I'm hearing something too. It's like something happening. Oh, oh there is. fuck this. No way. No, I'm. No, no, no. no we'll come be... on. Oh, I'm she's not... a jolly good fellow. Ah! 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 Whoa, okay. Did I get in here? Did I get in I forgot. I got spooked and I kept putting down the camera. <laughs> I think I died. <laughs> I think I might have died. Entered Whoa. Limbo. Are we dead yet? Shin Megami Tensei? Oh my god. Call Toast. We need... <laughs> this is the ultimate answer. I think I was supposed to die. You've been playing for a while Wait, now. for a while now. <laughs> hey, you know what? Everyone, <laughs> thank you very <laughs> much for joining us for 13 Nights Halloween. I no longer want to play this. The game literally just told me, hey, stop playing. <laughs> Thank you, Comet, for uh, being here with me for actually seeing this game yeah. out. Yeah. Um. Maybe next year we'll play another chapter and eventually we will just beat Dread out slowly. I feel like this. I feel like a sense of deja vu. Like you've done this with another game before. I can't remember what. Uh, I feel like I I do that with a lot of games. To be honest, where I just come back a year later. But, uh, the game is literally telling me save and exit, and I feel like that's the best option here. <laughs> so, thank you very much for joining me, Common. You'll be back for another 13 Nights video that we got planning up pretty soon. But, uh... That's yeah, and I'll call you up next year when, uh, I'm ready to take on more Dread Out. And <laughs> actually yeah, maybe we'll... It. Yeah, maybe we'll make it to Act, act 3. Maybe we'll be able to make it Act 3. Maybe we'll do it exponentially. We'll go... We got through... We got through a little bit of Act Zero, do like two, and we'll go to Act, and like the the third session will go up to like Act uh, Act Seven or something. Yeah, exactly. That's all possible. But thank you very much for joining us, and we'll be back for more Thirteen Nights of Halloween. Say goodbye, Common. Later.